This video explains sectional view of a cone when the cone stands vertically and cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and parallel to the generator. Let us see a problem. A cone of base diameter 60 mm and axis side 75 mm is resting on its base on the HP. It is cut by a sectional plane perpendicular to VP and parallel to and 12 mm away from one of its end generators. Draw the sectional plan and true shape of the section. Cone standing or resting on the ground with its base. Cone is cut by a sectional plane. The plane is perpendicular to VP and parallel to the generator. The top portion of the cone is removed after sectioning. Since the cone is resting with its base on the ground, the base shape of the cone, which is a circle, can be seen in the plan. Draw an XY line. Draw a circle as plan with the base diameter of the cone. Divide the circle into equal number of divisions. Name the divisional points with numbers. Project these points. Draw a vertical axis line and mark height of the cone on this axis line. Join all the projectors to the top. This top point is called apex point or vertex point of the cone. Darken only the outer profile of the cone that is the generators and base. Mark the corresponding points of the elevation. In the elevation, a point is represented by a number or alphabet followed by a dash. By this, the projection part of the cone is over. While sectioning, the conditions of the sectional plane is to be considered. When the sectional plane is perpendicular to HP, sectioning of the solid must be done in the plan. When the sectional plane is perpendicular to VP, sectioning of the solid must be done in the elevation. In this case, the sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and parallel to the generator of the cone. So in the elevation, a line parallel to the side of the cone must be drawn as cutting plane. The parallelism is 12 mm. Trace the points wherever the cutting plane cuts the solid. Name these points. Project these points and find out the corresponding points in the plan. Points on the axis B dash and F dash cannot project directly. These points are initially taken to the generator horizontally. Then it is projected to the corresponding line of the plan. Then from the center of the circle in the plan, this distance is taken back to the actual lines. Name the corresponding intersection points of the plan. Join these points with a smooth curve. Points G and A should be joined by a straight line because these points are on the base and all other points are on the lateral surface of the cone. Draw sectional lines or hatching lines in this closed area. For drawing true shape of the section, Draw perpendicular lines for the cutting plane from A dash, B dash, C dash, etc. Draw a reference line parallel to the cutting plane. Now we have to measure each of the point distances from the plan and mark it on the corresponding line. Measure the distance of point A from the line 1 phi in the plan. In the elevation, mark it on the line drawn through A dash. That should be marked from the reference line. Measure the distance of G from the line 1 5. Mark it on the line drawn through G dash. These distances of points can be measured from X file and also. Here, the distances of A and G are same when you are measuring it from the center line 1 5. That is why the reason we are measuring it from the center line. Now, measure the distance of F from the line 1 5. In fact, distance of F and B are same. Mark it on the line projected from F dash and B dash. 
here both this f dash and b dash points are same similarly measure c mark it on the line projector from c dash then e on the line from e dash finally d on the line from d dash name these points join these points with a smooth curve points a and g should be joined by a straight line draw sectional area sectional lines or hatching lines within this closed area mark the dimensions 1.5